Hi, I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and in today's video, I want to be showing you how to make a Prezi style PowerPoint presentation absolutely free without having to incur any of the monthly costs. Now, if you watch all the way through, you'll be able to do this easily and find out where you can download the files. All right, so you have to watch all the way through. So let's get started. So for those of you who don't know what Prezi is, it is a very unique way of making a PowerPoint presentation. And just to show you, it's better just to show you because they expanded to different things like uh, Presentation Live. But um, it started off as simply just a different style of presentation. And if I show you on their website uh, what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so it's like this. right? You can zoom in, zoom in, and then zoom out. All right, and you get, you get the big picture and you get the small picture. Let me just click it for you. Hopefully, it'll show it. All right, but the problem with this is you um, have to basically you can sign up for free, but you only have five uh, projects, all right? and it, I, I believe it comes with a watermark. I'm not, not not too sure. Don't don't quote me on that. All right, so that's the issue with the free version. Yeah, you can sign up, but it's kind of a hassle and, you know, it has a lot of kind of restrictions. But, you know, if you want to create, like, an unlimited amount of projects, you're going to have to pay $14 a month. And for me, uh, I'm tired of these monthly fees. I, I, I'm tired of this pay-per-month, you know, uh, transition that all of these, um, <clears throat> all these, uh, basically everyone's trying to jump on board. So I'm trying my best to save you guys money and to combat the system to make it more affordable because wh why do you have to pay for something monthly right? you already have phone bills you already have taxes you have, already have car insurance i don't think it's fair so let me show you uh, how i do this with powerpoint you can get the same almost the same effect i'm not saying 100 percent the same but pretty much the same effect using any kind of powerpoint whether it's uh you know 2016 2020 and um Basically, you don't have to pay a monthly monthly premium. So let's get started with that. All right. So real quick, this is what it looks like. All right. And when you load up the PowerPoint, you click and you make your little notes or whatever. And you can always zoom back out, just like Prezi. All right. Zoom back in, and then zoom in again. Okay. And you go back. And go back out so you can zoom um, one level two levels okay and it's just for not just for that it's for all of them all right let me just do this again there you go and this is useful for making many different styles of presentation because you see the big picture or your your audience and students you'll see the big picture and it, they also see the small picture as well right so let me go into each one and you can see that the interlinking between each uh, point that you make. So in order to do this, this, this is what I'm going to show you how to make. And of course, you can once you get the idea of how to make this, you can switch out the background. You can switch out uh, anything else that you'd like. Okay, but I'm going to show you the basics. And uh, if you like, you can go ahead and check out the description uh, down in the description below. And I'll have a link to an article that will give you the source files for the, uh, access to the source file for this ex same exact template if you like it. All right. But if you want to understand how to make this template so you can modify it and use it, you know, make it your own, then, uh, you know, stay tuned. OK, so to make this um, template was a PowerPoint template that's similar to Prezi. All you have to do is basically open a blank um, you know, blank template and you can insert your background but I'm gonna t I'm gonna just go straight to the mechanism of how you do this so I'm gonna need a shape okay so uh, you go to insert and then you can click shape I'm gonna use a circle okay and oh, that looks kind of funky let me okay so I'm going to use a shape, and I'm going to make several of them just to make things easier. Maybe add some text later. All right, so that's one, two, and, and three. Okay, 
Uh, once you once you get it, I think by the third time you should be able to understand everything. And I'm just gonna change uh, different colors just to uh, make things a little bit more you know, appealing. All right. So now you have your shape. You can insert your your text. Point one, All right. point two, and point three. This is just so you can organize things and see things visually. All right. I mean, you can name whatever you want. Now, this is going to be your main slide, obviously. And what you want to do is you want to, if you, if you have an icon, if you want to add an icon like I did, you can go ahead and go ahead and insert um, different icons. Let me see. But I'm going to leave it blank like this. All right? And what you want to do is you want to take everything that's in this circle and you want to create an object. Oops. Sorry. Okay, so you want to take it and you want to arrange it as an one object, right? And group it. Right? That way, when the person clicks on it, uh, they don't have to click on this thing or this thing. They can click anywhere. All right. So now that you have this, you go ahead and duplicate the slide, and now you have the second zoom in. Okay. Oops. Actually, let me keep that. All right, so then you can add in your second talking point. Oh, I'll delete these. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now, you can make this a little bit prettier. I'm just, you know, making it quickly so you can get the point uh, I, I want you to really hit home the, the mechanics of this um, okay and you can change it whatever color you want to maybe if you like uh, white you're gonna make it white uh, yeah you can do that right? and then you can also add in uh, maybe different different lines if you like I, I don't really prefer this one I prefer it to be maybe a little bit thicker um, but that, that's just personal choice I'm just gonna add in uh, where what's a good one oh, let's just add in maybe something like this See how see how this works out. <laughs> yep. Now I could do a much better job, but I like I said, I just want you to get the, the mechanics of it. Okay? So now you have your second slide, right? Your second slide to zoom in. And what you need to do is you have to create the illusion of zooming in. That's what, essentially what you're doing, right? You're not actually zooming in. You're just creating the illusion of doing that. And but you do that by going up here and going into transitions, okay? And as you go ahead and tra to transitions, you're going to go down and you're going to see something called zoom. Yep, right here. All right? So... Now what you do is you have to link these two together. So advance, oh, let's see. Okay, so you connect the two by creating a hyperlink. You go down hyperlink and then you would go ahead and place in this document. And since this is slide two, you go ahead and click on slide two and click on OK. So let's go ahead and preview what you got so far. You got your main point, talking point, and then you want to zoom in. Boom. All right. So you zoom in to talking point one. Now you, ha you have half the animation. The other half, you have to be able to uh, go back. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do add that part. All right, so in order to go back, you would need to add a special shape. You go to insert shapes, and then you scroll all the way down here to active, uh, sorry, action button, and you'll see a little icon called um, home. So you click on that, and you drag it out, and then you. You set the hyperlink. Right? In this case, I'm going to set it to the first slide. Click OK. So now you can go back. Right? But let's see. Let me go ahead and preview this. So you click on the first point, you zoom in, and you zoom out. But it doesn't zoom back out, right? It just goes back to the main. So in order to, you're going to have to add in the zoom out feature all right so you need to duplicate this all right because this is the zoom in all right this will need to be the zoom out so this home will go back to let me click the edit hyperlink second slide okay and then this transition will be the zoom out now how do you do the zoom out you go to zoom you go to zoom feature and then you go over here and modify it to effects option you got zoom out so now this is the zoom in animation and this will be the zoom out so I zoom out animation. So let me show you how it works together. All right, the main slide, first point, click in, zoom in. All right, and then click out, zoom out. You see? So now you have the complete animation for your first point, and you just repeat the same for each level, each point in each level. And then that's all you have. You don't have to uh, pay a monthly fee. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is just add in the hyperlink to the first and second slide, add in the transition, and also add in the zoom out animation, and uh, as well as the home button, and you're good to go. So I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, could you please hit that like button? It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, if you'd like to download the source file, you can go ahead and check out the article below, and you can find out more details about that and download it for free. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.